The threat of a nuclear attack is very real, so much so that the United States is preparing. They aren't only preparing for this now that the tensions between the US and North Korea are strained. The US has been preparing for a nuclear attack for the last 7 months. Welcome back to IO, I'm Charlotte Dobre. Though it is unlikely that North Korea can attack the US mainland, there are other places that could be targeted. The first is the small island of Guam, which is a strategic US naval base in the Pacific. And another is the state of Hawaii. Hawaii is the first state to seriously start thinking about what would happen if North Korea decided to attack it. Okay. Don't be alarmed. In fact, this is a good thing. It's good to have a plan and it's better to be safe than sorry. If North Korea does decide to launch a surprise attack, we need to be prepared. According to Hawaii's Department of Defense, if North Korea uses an intercontinental ballistic missile, it would take around 20 minutes to reach Hawaii. That's not a lot of time. So as a result, Hawaiian emergency management officials are trying to implement an attack warning system, like the sirens that signaled an air raid during the Cold War. These sirens will be tested in November and the public will have to be educated on what the sirens mean. And so, mobile text alerts as well as pamphlets are being sent out. If you're a Hawaiian, you already know there's a system in place in case there's a natural disaster, like an earthquake, volcano eruption, flooding or a tsunami. It is also being advised that Hawaiians create a stockpile of at least 14 days worth of food. That includes non-perishable food items. It is suggested that Hawaiians be aware of their surroundings and if a fallout shelter is unreachable in the event of an attack, to seek a suitable place for shelter. The best option is a concrete basement. If you're on a beach at the time of an attack, you should try to find a cave. If you're in a car, speed toward the closest concrete building. Stay away from windows and go toward the middle of the structure. This is true for any building, including a house. I know this sounds like pretty scary stuff guys, but it's better to be prepared than to be scrambling for a place to hide out should any sort of attack take place. I'm Charlotte Dobre for Inform Overload. Stay safe out there kids.